Everybody panic. <laughs> I don't have an agenda, but that's, I've pretty much talked my agenda out, except for one real, real important issue. And that is, Jerry's got some good ideas to put $8 million back in the local economy. But what good is that $8 million going to do if they devalue, devalue our currency to the point where it goes into hyperinflation? Now, we've got a legislator here that was on the platform committee of the Republican Party, and she's done a lot. Alvin, I'd like you to come up here and talk about how the Republican Party has officially adopted a plank supporting gold and silver as opposed to fiat money. And tell us that story of how that got there. <laughs> it's, it's an important issue that, that we all need to pay attention to. Paul is the authority on the monetary system. I am not. However, I do believe that gold and silver are the, are the major background for, for our currency. And of course, a lot of us know that our Congress years ago gave away its authority to manage the currency in our nation. And they gave it to an independent banking organization. And that's where our problem started, and they've continued ever since. Uh, another thing that happened in 1972 was when uh, the UN gave some very hardcore environmental organizations a seat at the table and recognized them. And uh, that has also become part of the equation now see where they shut down practically every segment of, of our uh, economy uh, in one way or another. Uh, what happened um, at the uh, Republican State Convention was some non-Paul delegates, and they happened to find themselves on the National Affairs Committee. So we made some changes. And I think when the Trial Lawyers Association sees some of those changes, they're going to be very, very upset. <laughs> um, one thing I would like to uh, talk about was uh, Ginny's question on the, on the wilderness and the Galton. Uh, I came from a meeting this morning. And uh, there were some Montana's for multiple use people there and some others uh, interested in uh, forming a, a coordination status to enable us to better deal with federal agencies. It's rather interesting, uh, but the Forest Service right now are carrying on negotiations uh, with selected people to help them determine how they want to manage our North End. And we, for years, have considered that our playground. We've lived there, we've recreated, we've worked there, my husband has logged there. It's been part of our customs and our culture to utilize our resources. And our economic dependence depends upon the utilization of our resources. That's why it's so important to let people uh, like Jerry, who understand uh, how things come together. He's worn out leather gloves. Uh, he knows what it is to go out and make a living the hard way in our county. And there are other people who want to put their hands out and receive a government grant. And this is what we're experiencing right now. I would just like to mention um, that the Forest Service invited people last weekend to have a camping trip up in I suppose it was a big terrio, I don't know for sure. Uh, my assignment right now is to find out who authorized that meeting, who did the inviting, and who were invited. Uh, we're hearing that it was a Cookie Stakeholders Organization, and uh, that can't be true because all of the people who were stakeholders were not invited. So, there are things going on right underneath our noses. And I really commend you, Paul, for this town hall type meeting so people
people can get together and share issues. Uh, we need to share with each other because as long as it can be swept under the rug, it's a non-happening. It's really important. Uh, I don't have any technical ability to do this kind of stuff, you know? <laughs> That's what I mean. I have trouble with my cell phone. <laughs> but anyone who can document any of these happenings, they, sh they should do that. Even if you just write it in a little notebook, you know, I saw this when. So um, I really think this is a wonderful idea, and I hope that it keeps on. Other organizations start, and you know, people are interested for a while, and then they back off. So, you know, we can't do it all at once, but we have to keep at it, because we're all in it together, and we're all going to live with the consequences of actions or inaction. Thanks, Alvin. Let's upgrade the name of this outfit. Instead of Eureka Town Watch, let's try Lincoln County Watch. What do you think? Yeah.